Gasp! Right. I mean, we could go down the steps, but there's actually... Oop, I need to step on the uh, healing squares. There's a Q-Bone. I'm actually going to want to go ahead and catch a Q-Bone. Why? You'll soon find out. Uh, Bone Club. That's going to take down my Ivysaur. Not quite. Not quite. Not quite. It's hanging in there. Uh, cause I'm actually gonna use a Q-Bone for a very good trade later on in the game. Maybe after we, uh, get out of the, uh, Pokemon Tower, we'll get on, we'll get on with it. This will actually make a pretty useful trade in this game. It's just not doing very well. And Bone Club is a very power, pretty powerful move against my Ivysaur. Ugh, come on. Dee 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 dee. I could use Vine Whip, but I don't want to accidentally knock it out. A oh, critical hit. Good grief. I don't want to accidentally knock it out when I'm trying to catch it. And unfortunately, it seems that the only. Ooh, lovely critical hit. Um. Unfortunately, it seems that Tackle is the only useful move that I've got at this point. Against a Q-Bone. Oh my goodness, I should have paid more attention. I got lucky there. But that should be perfect. That should be perfect. That's why I have to put it to sleep. Alright. Q-Bone was caught. Thank goodness I noticed that. Alright. Like I said, we'll use Q-Bone for a little later. Let's transfer it to Bill's PC. Let's heal up. Or get interrupted by another Pokemon. Which is a Ghastly, of course. fully heal up. At least we don't have to keep walking back to the Pokemon Center. So this is... I can see why they decided to put that in there. Good grief. Maybe I should grab a lot more repels, because these... <laughs> these Ghastlies are so bothersome. Incredibly bothersome. I forgot to uh, turn back to the uh, Pokemon Tower. Even though we're just... Even though we're just getting close to... A little close to being done. We still got kind of couple of channelers to fight though and a lovely nugget and of course a lovely ghastly actually a hateful ghastly level 26 this time good grief all right we'll take on this one or uh, uh what are you trying to say i don't think i speak your language another single pokemon this time it's a haunter level 22 okay good at least I'm getting some pretty good experience from these Haunters. Hey, that's fine. Just keep using Nightshade. Frankly, I wish there was like a different other move that's less bothersome than Nightshade. And it's not Lick or Confuse Ray. I didn't get paralyzed there. Thank you. Thank you very much. A oh, critical hit. Love it. Love it. And of course, a Lick. Don't you dare. Good. Love it. So far, so good. So far, so good. Just just don't get paralyzed, please. However, I wish my Vine Whip would do a lot more. But after I get a Vine Whip, Ivysaur will take a break. Because I've got his good move. I'm going to have to need to get a War Turtle. War Turtle's good move. And I'm going to uh, look up a move of um, a certain Pokemon that we're able to get a little later. Oh, that's how much it, a critical hit does. I'm going to have to heal up so I can survive. I'm going to look up uh, a Pokemon really fast so I'll know uh, what move it learns at what level. In fact, we could just teach that uh, TM to the Pokemon, but I want to see if it learns it. Okay, yeah, it does learn at a later level, so I'm not sure if there's really a need to... Uh, teach it to the Pokemon, or we can get it again. Okay, good. You didn't paralyze me even once. Awesome. 594. Still didn't level up. Good grief. Woo! Ric Flair. Woo! <laughs> there we go. <coughs> yep. I hit that octave. I hit that octave. Excuse me. Goodness gracious. Alright. Next floor. 
Got a couple more Chandlers. Give me blood. Were you a vampire? Oh, this time, this Chandler has three Pokemon. Of course, it's gonna start off with a Ghastly. Maybe I should. Well, if if Ivysaur levels up after this uh, Ghastly, then I'll switch him out. I will definitely switch him out, most definitely. Uh, the good thing is there are only three Chandlers on this uh, on this floor, and uh, there will be a little surprise waiting for us. But that'll be in a little bit. Still got. Still got quite a couple minutes to kill by facing off against these Chandlers. Once again, I wish I had a better move for Ivysaur, because Vine Whip isn't really doing that much. I wish Poison Powder would actually hit him, too, and of course I finally get paralyzed again. I know this may have been not. I know this is definitely not the best situation to come into the Pokemon Tower. Ugh. But hey, at least it's better than nothing, and all my Pokemon can use the experience. And of course, I end up getting paralyzed once again. Now it's just going to keep using its Confusion slash Paralysis slash Nightshade thing. If only my Poison Powder would actually connect. And if my Pokemon would actually make it through the Confusion. Or I could just use Charmeleon just to get on with these other fights. They're really, really starting to annoy me. But I keep thinking that this move is able to connect on uh, Ghastly. Of course, I get hit by Confusion again. I, I'm, I'm sure this move can connect on Ghastly. I just don't know how it's not. I keep thinking it's because of it. Poison Powder is very low accuracy or something like that. And of course, I keep getting screwed by Paralysis. It didn't affect Ghastly. Maybe it's because of... I don't know. And of course, I decided to use Confuse Ray once again. Goodness gracious. And of course, it hurt me again. Gotta heal, because if I... If it... Uses Nightshade, I'm done. Ivysaur will be knocked out. Oh, it didn't use Nightshade. Whatever. Big mistake on her part. Please level up Ivysaur. Oh my goodness. Another ghastly. I'm gonna take a I'm gonna let you take a break anyway. Because unfortunately it's just not doing that much wonders for Ivysaur. Um, War Toil, on the other hand, will be a lot better experience. And it looks like War Toil will be... won't be uh, too much of a problem to use against this Ghastly. Hey, that's fine. Just keep using Nightshade. So I won't have no risk of getting paralyzed. So I'm getting sick and tired of getting paralyzed by Lick. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting pretty sick and tired of it. You're going to use yet another Ghastly. I'm going to keep War's Oral out. I always keep wishing that Bite would be a Dark-type move, but unfortunately it's only a Normal-type move in this game. But in the uh, second gen games and later... <laughs> Confuse Ray. Uh, but in the next gen, uh, the second gen and later gen, second gen from the uh, rest of the series, I made it a Dark-type move. And good thing I made it through that confusion. Oh, look at that! Just 1 HP. Okay, good. I wonder if that thing is at 1 HP, but oh well. At least I didn't get confusion and the, conf and the uh, conf confusion lasted pretty short. Groan! Alright, but like I said, we're on the last floor uh, with uh, Chandlers. Before we uh, get up to the main floor and where we're supposed to be at. So he can still get some good items here. If I can, thank you. X accuracy. And yeah, I forgot to show what Pikachu looks like in here. He's completely, sh completely scared and completely shocked. So of course he's being surrounded by ghost Pokemon, of course. So 
So unfortunately, there are two more channelers that we can bite. Ki 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 ki. I know that was horrible, but that's what she's saying. That's what she said. <laughs> Literally. Actually, got a literal. That's what she said. Joke in there. That's gonna hurt. Hey, that's fine. You can just keep using lick, even though I'm already paralyzed, dummy. Now I do think for a fact that poison poison powder would be able to register on ghastly. It's just that I don't know why. It's just like crippling my accuracy. So I'm sure it will be able to. Uh, Oh my goodness, again with the yawning. I'm sure... I'm sure Poison Powder would register. Except I know for a fact that regular Poison type, like Poison type offense moves, they're half damage on him, so... It makes me think I know for a fact that Poison Powder would register. Just, um, it's just that the Powder type moves are very, very low accuracy. That's why they... Oh man, Confuse Ray. That's why they can be very annoying to use on Pokemon. Because of its low accuracy rate. And of course, I get fully paralyzed. I don't know why it seems like uh, whenever I make it through the confusion, I always end up getting paralyzed. It's very bothersome. And it's like, that's like today's... Of course, it hurt itself. That's like today's most common word. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Bothersome. Bothersome is the most common most common word that I'm using. But hey, that's basically what this episode is in a nutshell. Bothersome. I wish this obviously would break out of it. Awesome. Take it down. Oh, look at that. That's ridiculous. Heh, <laughs> it used lick. Oh well, at least I didn't take that much damage. That's a good thing about it. Please level up Ivysaur. Yes, thank you. Ivysaur is trying to learn Razor Leaf. That is a much better move than uh, Vine Whip. So let's see what we got here. Uh, I'm going to want to keep Tackle so I can have a, a, a normal type move. But I'm going to go ahead and at least... Uh, uh, oh, goodness. I'm going to get rid of... Poison powder. So that way I can heal over time. So I can hurt and heal at the same time. Key! Alright, with that, Ivysaur can use a break. D. 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 <laughs> I can't stop singing that. It's, it's pretty good rhythm. And I don't think uh, Neo King has any good moves that I can use. No, it doesn't. All normal and fighting type moves. So, looks like I have to switch back to War Turtle. Okay, last channeler. Earth Qua! At least we're on the last channeler. And it's a single ghastly too. So we're just about in the clear of the channelers. However, I'm definitely going to have to heal up. Because one more Nightshade will take down War Turtle. It'll just be enough to take down War Turtle. So, got to heal. <laughs> I didn't even use Nightshade anyway. You could have had the best chance to knock down War Turtle. And of course, you're just going to keep using Confuse Ray all the time. And of course, War Turtle will get hurt. Oh, well, the good thing is he didn't get hurt that time. Great. Most excellent. Come on, War Turtle. Thank you very much. At least I'm starting to get something going this time. Just don't paralyze me, please. Don't you dare. Good. Awesome. Uh, just to make sure you go down, please. Yes! Alright. Alright. We're completely in the clear of the Chandlers. Completely in the clear. Something fell out. What did? 
What fell out? But here's a uh, uh, rare candy, which is of course are very helpful. And I'm going to save it right here. And why am I saving it right here, you might ask? Well... Be gone, intruders. An invisible Pokemon? A ghost. Ghost appeared. Silphscope unveiled the ghost's identity. Wild Marowak appeared. It is the Marowak, the mother Marowak of the Pokemon Tower. Level 30, so that's going to be a pretty tough Pokemon to deal with. So let's see if I can at least maybe weaken it some. And then I can, then I'll try to capture it. So I think you can, I think you can, I'm not positive if you can capture the Marowak on here. Because I thought I remember correctly capturing it. I guess I don't, but I want to see if I can actually can. Oh, it dodged the thrown ball. This Pokemon can't be caught. I thought so. Because I thought I remember correctly about, go, oh, good grief. About a Marowak being caught. But I guess not this one in particular. Oh well. Easy experience for World Turtle then. Only 531. Level 30. The ghost was the restless soul of Cubone's mother. The mother's soul was calm. It departed to the after it departed to the afterlife. I thought so. But uh another little trick that you can dodge that little uh uh, or avoid that little uh, fight. It's if you uh, like in Gunner Maniac 3 as a speedrun. He used the uh, he used a Poké Doll to uh, uh, skip that fight, and using a Poké Doll would consider the fight as a win. So that's actually that's the uh, game breaker right there. Is using the Poké Doll on the uh, uh, Ghost uh, fight. That is of course if you don't have the uh, Silph Scope. You just gonna have to watch the speedrun and watch that segment. So that way. Um, it, he shows it. It's a pretty interesting little fact. But at least we're done with that. And we're in the very last floor of the Pokemon Tower. And you may be wondering, what do we get? Oh, well, we get a level 28 Ghastly. Something interesting. But of course not. What do we get uh, at the at the uh, last floor of the Pokemon Tower? Well, we're interrupted by Jesse and James. Stop right there. Grandpa here wanted to complain, so we're set setting him straight. So render yourself invisible, or prepare to fight. So that's like the completely wrong way of saying it. Rocket sent up Meowth. They sent up Meowth. Just like I anticipated. Alright, alright. Well, it was a great anticipation. Because like I said, it doesn't even... Uh... uh Sometimes uh, they uh, switch their lineup a little bit, but the good thing is they uh, mention their uh, Pokemon lineup. And he's going to use an Arbok. Well, they are anyway. And uh, fighting type moves won't work very well, so I'll just use Thrash. And really, that's how much Thrash does? Oh, just a few pair away. Really wish it would have taken it down in two hits. Because now there's a half chance of uh, me being able to attack with another Thrash. But level 30, awesome. Awesome. And now he's going to use a Weezing. I'm going to let Pikachu get some fun. Besides, he needs it. He's all the way down to level 22. He needs it. As I hope I can get something going on. I mean, at least, I, at least I'm faster than the Weezing. But, at least, but my attacks really aren't doing much. Oh, yeah. 17. That's not much. Even Slam wasn't very much. And Sludge is a pretty powerful poison type move. I not, not make it. Nope. Uh, womp, womp, womp. Looks like I have to use Charmeleon to avenge Pikachu. Slash attack is very good. High critical hit ratio. And that's how much it does for a critical hit. Are you kidding me? But hey, at least it's better than nothing. Another critical hit. Like I said, very high critical hit ratio. So it's pretty, pretty useful move. Oh, stop! Stop! Please. Good grief. Critical hit galore. Yep. Three in a row. Not bad. A thousand experience. Would have been 
great experience for Pikachu. You will regret this. Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. Yeah, you said it right this time. Good job. Okay, so we got this old man right here. This is Mr. Fuji. Huh? You came to save me? Thank you. But I came here of my own free will. I came to calm the soul of Cubone's mother. I think Marowak's spirit has gone to the afterlife. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home. Pokemon house at the foot of this tower. Okay, so now we're completely out of the Pokemon tower and we're completely done with it. So we can talk to Mr. Fuji. Ash, your Pokedex quest may fail without love for your Pokemon. I think this may help your quest. So we got a Poke Flute from uh, uh, Mr. Fuji. Upon hearing Poke Flute, sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. It works on all sleeping Pokemon. So namely, we can use it on uh, one of the sleeping Pokemon uh, on the routes. And uh, another useful thing is if you don't have any full heals or or awakenings, you can use the Poke Flute to uh, wake up your Pokemon from the uh, sleep uh, status status problem. So that's very useful. It's very useful inside battles too. Now, since we're completely done with the Pokemon Tower, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grab the Cubone really fast. And then we'll go into the underground passage so that way we can make the trade. A very useful trade. So we'll deposit Oddish just real quick. Because I'm gonna keep, have to keep using a uh, Cape Oddish with, with us. We will withdraw the Cubone. And I think uh, you'll be able to catch a wild Marowak, but that's a little bit later. That's like much later in the game. So we'll take the underground passage. Uh, from this route. And we're going to pass by the ugliest totem pole I've ever seen. <laughs> I do believe it's right here. Uh, yes, this woman right here. The farmer store in Celadon is a great selection. Oh, nope, excuse me. It's another woman. I, I, can't, I can't remember if it's this one or the underground passage from Vermilion to Cerulean. I can't remember. I heard a sleeping Pokemon appear near Celadon City. Yeah. It's the one uh, underground passage next to uh, Vermilion and Cerulean. But at least we'll uh, be able to uh, cross, cross through it by going across Saffron City. That's very useful. So, oh, dang it, going the wrong way. But this is the uh, area we'll be uh, tackling in the next part. Is uh, trying to drive out Team Rocket out of uh, Saffron, out of Saffron City. Aha! This woman right here. People often lose things in that underground path. Nope. Good grief. I don't know why I'm getting all this wrong. So I remember. I thought I remember correctly, because I've done this a lot, a few times before. Okay, here we go. Now we're here. Hi. Do you have Cubone? Want to trade it for Machoke? Now you may be thinking, a Machoke, right? We trade, we're trading it? Perfect. Here's a Cubone. <laughs> 1 HP in a dream. Okay, connect the cable like so. Wait, I, I'm, not, I'm not even connecting a cable. Unless you're con considering that as a connecting the cable. Funny how they're doing that in, amidst, in mid game. I love that little thing. Cubone wants a trainer. For Ash's Cubone, trainer sends Machoke. Trainer waves farewell as Machoke is transferred. I mean, why do we have to go through the whole link cable thing? Couldn't you? Couldn't we just toss Pokeballs to each other? But here's a Machoke. But it's not just a Machoke. Take good care of Machoke. Not just a Machoke. It's evolving. Ricky's evolving. That's what you named it. Evolved into a Machamp. So yeah, it's a very useful trade. Astrate a Cubone for Macho Machamp. Should be Machamp. Thanks, pal. Don't mention it. So now we got a... Uh... So now we got a Machamp. So this is a good way to get a pretty decent fighting type Pokemon. It only knows a uh, cry chop low kick and leer, but it's not bad. It's a good way to get a pretty good fighting type Pokemon at your disposal. 
that. What am I doing? I shouldn't even have to take the stairs. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, go back down into Saffron. Uh, get Oddish back out. Because, of course, we're going to need the Cut Slave. And I'm not positive if we'll really use uh, my, my champ that much. Not positive. And there are actually two gyms in uh, Saffron City. We can go through one of them if we want. But I'll do that a little later. After we drive out Team Rocket, of course. After we drive out Team Rocket, we'll take care of that gym. And of course, we can't do the main gym, because of course it's being blocked by that Team Rocket guy. So I will deposit my champ really fast and bring back Oddish. And I want to make uh, make sure that our Pokemon are... I think our Pokemon should be ready to go, so I don't have to uh, 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 heal up. And there's Oddish. And uh, our Pokemon should be good to go. Yep, looks like it. Alright. And I'm going to switch it to uh, Wartortle. I guess I won't be using Pikachu that much very well, but I'll keep him with me. Because I know there are going to be some points to where I'll be able to use uh, Pikachu. And uh, I forgot to do something. I need to deposit some items really fast. Um, namely, the Silph Scope. Because... The Silph Scope has uh, served its purpose, and of course I keep opening the wrong PC menu. Good grief. What is wrong with me? Right, so first thing is I need to get rid of the uh, Silph Scope. And I'll get rid of the Escape Rope. I'll get rid of the X Accuracy and the HP up, and I will sell the Nugget. No, no, not the Super Potion. I need that. Uh, the HP up. And I will go ahead and sell the Awakening. Or get rid of the Awakening, because I've got the Poke Flute with me. And like I said, Poke Flutes can uh, be used inside a battle to uh, wake up your Pokemon, so it's very useful. You don't even have to buy any more Awakenings if you keep the uh, uh, Poke Flute with you. There, It's like... There will be no more buying any Awakenings. No more buying Awakenings. <laughs> so we'll head into the Mart to sell the Nugget really fast. Then we'll enter right into that big building, which is the uh, Sylph Company building. Yeah, it's the same company, it's the same uh, uh, company that made the Sylph Scope. So we'll sell the Nugget. And I'm yet to uh, teach Horn Drill to... Uh, uh, Nido King. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna go ahead and teach Horn Drill to Nido King. Because that move will be pretty useful. So at least we'll have a a very decent move. So we'll get rid of Tackle. And uh, I know I'm gonna have to get rid of Horn Attack. Because uh, the uh, TM move that I'm going to teach uh, Needle King is very useful, and it's found in this uh, big building. But that's going to be a little bit, so I'm going to have to get rid of Horn Attack for the TM move that I'm going to get here in the building. So, we're going to cut it off right here, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this part of our Let's, of our let's Play of Pokemon Yellow, and I'll see you guys in the next part. I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy.